Where is Elias? It's me, Diana here. I am half Filipina, half Finnish. I grew up in the Philippines like most of my life. I've been living in Finland for five years now and I'm gonna share to you what it's like to live in Finland as a Filipina. With that, I'm gonna share five simple culture shocks I experienced in Finland as a Filipina. Let's start! Number one, Finns love silence. People think Finnish people are shy. They're not shy. They just don't give a shit. <laughs> they don't make small talk unless it's necessary. They respect each other's space. You can sit beside them for hours without talking, just you minding your own individual spaces. That is true. And for us, it could be very awkward. They cannot think you're weird for asking random questions. Why? So in Finland, when you take public transportation, it is important that you respect the silence. So if you're talking on the phone, please use a headset. Don't speak loud. Respect. And there's a curfew of silence here at 10 p.m. If you have a home party at 10 p.m., you should stop the loud music or loud noises at that time or else your neighbor has the right to call the police on you. You're under arrest! In the Philippines, it's like people don't respect their neighbors. They do karaoke from uh, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. You wake up and people are singing, my heart will go on. Number two, they talk honestly about their feelings. Okay, hon. I have my hands are very full. You have to go after him. Okay. You go, 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 go get him. No need to run. If you have conflicts, they talked about it. Like, this is how I feel, and we should solve this, or we should end this. Especially with family, they like to talk about stuff. If you're toxic, I'm not gonna be part of your life anymore. So in Philippines, in a Filipino culture, especially for the younger people, relationships to the older people, you cannot just talk about how you feel, or it will become as a disrespect gesture. Oh, you're talking back to me, huh? Huh? Or if you say, oh my god, I'm so depressed, I'm so emotional right now. You're just acting up. And then if you have like conflict with your parents, you just do the silent treatment. That's when we like silence, when there's conflict. We stop talking, we just don't look each other in the eye. We wait for like a couple days or just pretend nothing happens. Like we just straight away wake up and start a new day like nothing happened. And we don't talk about that conflict. So it never gets solved, so it's just... A repeating cycle it's very toxic so i like this finnish culture number three finnish people don't smile a lot especially to strangers in philippines i don't know why we smile a lot just walking at night and then someone's like also passing through over you and it's like good evening good evening that's a sign of respect or when we see a cute dog, oh, can I pet him? Oh, so cute. Yeah, in Finland, you will barely know your neighbor. My kids, nursery classmate, can I say that? We met them like a couple times in the park, and the mom and I have like little conversations like that. And then we met in the nursery, and then like, oh, they have the same class. And then we talk a little bit, but still, I don't know her name. She don't know my name. That's it. I don't know why. It's like, it's so weird, like, oh, what is your name? Can we be friends? It's so hard to make friends here. Number four, Finnish people are so comfortable with being naked. Oh my god, the first time I went to the spa and then I went to the locker room and I see everyone's getting naked. A person close to me is butt naked and no matter how young or old you are, you get naked in the locker room. And they do that in the gym also or everywhere, especially in the sauna, especially in the sauna. For us, we're not comfortable doing that. I don't even get naked in front of my sister. 
or my friends or my family or my mom i don't remember the last time i get naked in front of other people i still feel a little bit uncomfortable getting naked in the locker room i try to like cover myself with towel finnish people would rather be naked than say hi to you they're not shy they're just a different breed mm. i've seen a lot of bodies in finland than i've ever been my entire life number five the finnish people's relationship with their immediate family at 16 years old you can already move out of your home and be independent and then you don't have to visit your family or support them or you don't have like responsibility for your parents or your other siblings the government does that but anyway that's like one thing I was shocked about. You can move out and be independent straight away at 16, 17, 18. Oh my god, and it's really hard to move out at 16. In the Philippines, it's hard. Like, you will be 50 years old, you will have your own family, you're married, you have kids, and you will be still living with your parents and your siblings as well. So you just extend your house, or like build another room there and another room here. I feel bad not helping them because the government is not helping them. Yeah, I've been working outside the Philippines, like I've been working abroad since 2015. And ever since I've been supporting my families. Eight years. <laughs> oh my god, I feel so old. And I've been supporting my family, especially my mom. And right now I have my our little brother supporting them sent to school so i've been sending money not only for my mom but also because i have investment in the philippines and when i send money to my mom i'm using transfer go it's very convenient because when i send her money she will receive it within 30 minutes and in my first three transfer that's gonna be zero fee she can either receive it directly through her card so when she goes shopping she could just swipe it she can receive it through bank transfer if she don't want to touch the money it can go directly to her savings account or she can receive it through grab pay coin maya or gcash and gcash is so common in philippines that they use it for shopping also for prepaid for internet so it's very convenient so easy and so fast especially when there's like emergency going on and i would like to thank transfergo for sponsoring this part of the video this is actually my first ever sponsored youtube video and i'm like so happy and so proud that they trusted me to be one of their influencer to promote transfer go to my fellow filipino people and you can send philippine pesos or us dollars to your loved ones so you should check out transfer go it is linked in the description and i can also link it in the comment you can trust transfer go because it has been in the market for 10 years now it has established itself as one of the best leading money transfer in europe it has 4.8 ratings in trust pilot so you can really trust that your money will not be just disappear somewhere it will reach your family it will reach there very fast and very convenient thank you so much transfer go for sponsoring this portion of the video i take this as a sign to take youtube seriously because there is potential here to make money <laughs> so i can support my family so thank you guys so much for supporting me and because of your support i was able to support myself my family and my family in the philippines so i hope there is something you learned from this video and um, see you next time bye <laughs> this is so natural i can do it this world really dance Dance! Dance, Andy! <laughs>